Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Sarah Khan and I am back with another video. Today is a very special unboxing because this is the first of a limited run games uh, that I'm doing and I'm going to be doing a lot, uh, quite a few limited run games. Um, I'm not going to necessarily do all of the unboxings for them because I'm not going to be getting all the special editions but like for a couple of some of them, the ones that don't interest me as much, I'll just get the regular standard editions so I won't be unboxing those. Um, but I will be unboxing the limited edition ones. And today's game is Thimbleweed Park. This is 001 for the Nintendo Switch. This is the first one they've decided to do. Um, and I've been I've been looking forward to this. This is something that I wanted to get. Um, I was really happy to see this come in next, last week. Um, so there's that. And also there's a couple things that also came with it. I didn't even notice this at first, and I didn't even know this was going to come with it until um, until I opened up the package. And there's this one, it's a trading card um, for the game Thimbleweed Park, number 162. I don't know how many trading cards there are of this, I don't know how well you can see that. But yeah, and then I just actually just noticed this now, um, looking in the box, that I have a... Um, a ticket towards uh, limited run games loyalty reward, so that's definitely new. <laughs> didn't even know that this was a thing. Didn't know that this was in the uh, shipping box until I just went back in there again to get everything set up, um, and I found that. So without further ado, let's get started with this. Careful. That's gonna be so messy. Cool. Alright, nice. So, and then here's like the back of the movie park, you know, describing the game and stuff. It's sort of like, um, it's an adventure game, like, uh, at least it was like, uh, Monkey Island and Mani Maniac Mansion. I've heard of Monkey Island series, but not the, um, Maniac Mansion one, so, this is definitely interesting, um, so I think it's gonna be like a point and click game, so here we go, this is one of the things I wanted, was a, uh, comes with the, like, newspaper, the nickel news, so it's for Tuesday, October 13th, 1987, uh, KSCUM, turn your dials to KSCUM108. Point seven FM, the gnarliest hits from local artists. Our resident DJ Cassie says, I hope you like Tuna Head. So yeah, so this is a very nice, I guess you could say, uh, mock-up of their, uh, of the newspaper that would be in the town that it is. Very nice, very cool. Because um, a lot of these are supposed to be, like, based off of the town that the game takes place in. Um... Not sure what this is. This is like an advertisement. That's supposed to be. Oh, it's like a um a map of the um of the town and stuff. And uh, it's very nice. It's really like all the different like locales and areas and whatnot. So that's pretty cool right there. And this is something that I also was very interested in getting when I saw the description. That is the Thimble Pages, uh, Thimbleweed County phone book. So they're like different. Wow. There are, I guess they have it for every resident that lives there. Like actually, I want to see if they have, okay, and they have it arranged for like last name. That's pretty cool. Wait a minute. I just saw, I was thinking I saw one name and, okay, never mind, it was just a plumbing thing. Nice. That's def but this is definitely pretty cool. Like I'll let you see like what that is like. It's definitely cool. Um then the uh official Thimbleweed Park speck of dust, uh asterisk, not actual size. So it's really just oh wow. Huh. I'm glad I didn't like overlook this because I saw this was right 
in there, like right in the middle, digging. Um, so it's just like a little like sticky notes thing. So that's cool. And then there's, I guess, like a uh, sticker, ThimbleCon 87. That's pretty cool. And then another sticker, Abu, right there, just so you know. Abu, it's ThimbleCon. I don't know. But here is the lovely game itself, Thimbleweed Park. Alright, and you know it says here in the description, in a town like Thimbleweed Park, a dead body is the least of your problems. Switch between five playable characters to uncover the surreal secrets of this strange town in a modern mystery adventure game from the creators of Monkey Island and Maniac Mansion. The deeper you go, the weirder it gets. So cool. So that's what the back looks like. Front, and then we'll get the trusty knife out again. No, I should actually use that, uh, letter opener from, uh, <laughs> E's 8, although that thing probably, like I said, doesn't cut anything. <laughs> Plastic can sometimes be a hassle. this knife bit. Alright, cool. And here, what I love is, uh, they actually have an instruction manual. You know, that's very rare nowadays is to get an instruction manual. I mean, like, this one's not as detailed as, like, say, um, the Shanti Half Genie Hero one or, um, uh, the Wonder Boy one, but it's definitely, you know, it's good to have instruction manual, even if it's, you know, spare some details. Um, it's still nice to have, you know, I like having these. Now, one thing which I thought this was supposed to have, but it doesn't seem to have it. Um, yeah. By the way, that's what the inside looks like. I thought, I think the later ones are going to have, um, later ones are going to have, um, reversible covers. I thought this one had one, but I guess not. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it. Oh, and also... Limited run 001, so you know which one you have to complete your collection. They're going to have it on the spine, but due to, um, due to, I think, uh, issues, they weren't able to do that. So they, so they have to, so they put it on the back. But yeah, that's it. Thimbleweed Park Limited Edition. Um, that's it. I will be doing more. Also, check at limitedrungames.com. I'll leave a link to their website in the description. And you can look at all their other games for Switch. PS4 and the Vita as well. Um, and then they'll have some coming out. Like currently the one they have going on is... I can't remember what they've got currently going on. But you can check it out and keep your eyes out on ones that are coming down the road. So until next time everyone, I am Zerakhan signing off. Have a good one.